let's see the delves i hope he explains what is delves tell me sir what is delves Delves. Delves in World of Warcraft, The War Within, everybody. One of the biggest selling factors of this expansion and something that I would like to talk about today. I've had the opportunity to do many Delves in The War Within Alpha and the Beta, and I would just like to share some predictions on Delves and just kind of talk about them a little bit with this rather short video here on the channel. So let's just talk about this brand new feature, shall we? Before we do though, real fast, Zygor, it's the channel sponsor. Zygor, of down course. Below in the description, World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on. Check them out down below. So Blizzard's goal with Delves in this new expansion is to create a progressive piece of single player content. Essentially what Blizzard's trying to do is they're trying to break up the end game formula. You know, for years it's just been, you hit end game, you either do PVP, you either I just watched a video of him that he was complaining that in the end game you do either PvP or PvE and there is not too much to choose between. So I guess this is a solution. I still don't know what is Delves. Either do raiding, you can go out and collect stuff, you know, pets, mounts, gold, you know, whatever. Um, other than that, the only other thing that, you know, is an option at end game is just role playing, I guess, if you're into that sort of stuff. But really that's it. And Blizzard has been wanting to do something uh, different, something that sort of adds a new uh, way to play the game, specifically that appeals to the single player MMO player. Now, I'll admit that I'm personally not the biggest fan of the philosophy of putting single player content in a... Same. I don't like it as well. There are a lot of people that really enjoy playing single player things in the MMO for some reason. Multiplayer game, it just kind of seems like it goes against like the spirit of what the game is supposed to be. But Agreed. as long as it's fun and I mean, as long as it's cool and exciting and as long as it doesn't really hurt that community element that the MMO is known for, I mean, who cares, right? You know, like, hey, we're just here to have fun and have a good time. And maybe uh, there's those opportunities, you know, in between raids where you're like, man, there's nothing to do. Like, let me go do some delves or let me go do some pet battles or something or whatever it is you want to do. Like, hey, as long as it's fun and as long as it fits and as long as it doesn't take away from the game, I'm all for it. Now, Blizzard did try something. Dude, did you see that transition? Holy shit, what was that transition, my man? Similar to this back in Shadowlands with Torghast, which pretty much was a randomly generating dungeon sort of where you go in you fight enemies you get power i like torghast i like the idea about torghast not necessarily a single player experience but it was a little bit like a mini game you go in you have random bonuses you have random layouts at the end you're feeling overpowered sometimes if you're not lucky it's hard you know for ups and stuff you kill a boss at the end and you get rewards. Now, years ago, back during the Shadowlands Alpha, I made a video where I talked about Torghast, and I said, after you know playing it a couple of times, I was like, yeah, like this is fun, I guess, but this is gonna get boring really fast. Like people are not going to like this after a couple of runs. And I was absolutely dead on the money because after like two weeks of people doing Torghast, they were sick of it. You know, they they saw all the enemies. They saw all like the random layouts and stuff. Yeah. Of, you know, what Torghast could be. They saw all the abilities that their class could get. It got boring really fast. So Blizzard has learned from this mistake allegedly, and now they're giving us Delves, which is supposed to be something similar to Torghast, but something that is based on, you know, community feedback from Torghast and something that is uh, meant to be more enjoyable. So I've had the opportunity to do several delves in the alpha and in the beta. Sometimes the same delve, yes, just to see like the differences between one run and the other. And um, although I haven't put, you know, hours upon hours upon hours into delves like some people have i certainly have put enough time i think that i can actually tell you guys like what i think about it so i'm just gonna pretty much cut to the chase and say that um <laughs> and i really hope that i'm wrong but i'm kind of throwing the exact same prediction out there that i made with orgast all those years ago in the alpha and the beta for shadowlands there are good things about delves and things that make delves better it's than scary. Torghast, but for the most part, it's the exact same thing, and I think it's going to suffer from the exact same problems. 
you know, and for the record, let me just like put this, you know, out there real fast before, you know, the negative Nancy's appear in the comment section. You know, if I negative throw Nancy's. a prediction out there that's a little, not negative, but like, oh, you know, hey, maybe this isn't gonna do so good. I hope that I'm wrong, okay? Like, I'm not trying to, you know, like my ego is big enough. Like, I don't wanna be proved right. It's just, it is what it is. But here are some good things though, that, you know, Blizzard did do with Delves compared to Torghast that I think uh, might really help Delves in the future become hopefully a really beloved piece of content. So number one, first and foremost, there are many different kinds of Delves. So in Torghast back in the day, it was just Torghast. It was kind of the same aesthetic every single time that you did the Torghast runs. But in The War Within with the Delves, you have Delves of all different sorts of environments. Like you, you got Delves where you're in like... Dude, is Delve an, a word that I just don't know? Delve. Okay, Google Translate. Uh, a gap, a mesh, a pit. This is the whole idea of it. You're, you're going into a hole and uh, you're doing some sort of a scenario. A Torgas kind of situation plus scenario kind of situation. Like some like ruins of some like ancient Titan like thing. You have delves where you're just in, you know, your stereotypical like mushroom cave or whatever. There's tons of different delves with a lot of different environments and stuff. So if you go into one particular delve and you're like, you know, I really don't like the the minor delve where you're just like kind of following like a mine cart or something the entire time. That's stupid. You know, you can always just choose another delve to play around in and that's cool. Maybe you don't really like that mushroom cave delve. Maybe you really want that Titan architecture or something. So you're gonna go over there and you're gonna do that delve instead. This is all really good. I mean, there is a small potential problem in this though, because like, you know, however many delves there are in the War Within, there's probably like, how many delves are there in the War Within? Let me check real fast. So there's 12 delves, that's what I thought. Even though there's 12 delves in the War Within that you can play it's around in and explore, I mean, once you do those 12 delves, you know, two or three times, you're probably gonna get bored of them. And although, yes, there are things, you know, different from one delve to the next, like, yes, in one delve, you know, you're helping to save miners. And then in this delve, you know, maybe you're like, you know, going through like these underground waterworks or something. Although, yes, that is true. I mean, the delves don't really feel that different from each other. They're pretty much the same thing. Just clear a couple of mobs, get some quick power ups and stuff, fight a boss at the end. It's over pretty quick at the end, collect your treasure. So I do worry that. Is it always a power up? Can it be power down? There is a chance for you to get a really shitty build and the whole thing to be really challenging for you. Like, I think if they want to do something like that, they really need to play with power ups, power downs, maybe return you to the start of the scenario or something like that. Like, yes, although this is more replayable than Torghast, it's not as replayable as it could be. This leads to another point. These delves, at least in my experience playing them, don't. But I don't understand. People are complaining about Torghast, and at the same time, they're not complaining about Mythic Plus keys. <laughs> like... Don't really change that much from, you know, like doing the same delve over and over. Like, it's not like you're gonna go in and they're completely you know, rearranged in like the design of how they are like structured or something. It's not like you're going in and there's different enemies every time and there's different like power ups that you're gonna get like a little bit, at least in my experience, this could change though, could be completely wrong about this. But like in the times that I've done even like the same delve like three or four times, it's just like the same thing every single time with like very minor differences, like very minor. So don't expect this to be like Diablo where every single time you go into the dungeon, it's gonna be like a very different experience each and every time, okay? Like don't, like don't get that impression, all right? Moving back to a positive though, one thing that is really cool about this system that, you know, is it's the best part of the system, like hands down, it's Brand Bronzebeard. It's the idea of having a companion that helps you in the dungeon or the delve, I should say, they help you, they can heal, they can do damage, they can pick up things for you, they can notice things that maybe you didn't notice. I even noticed like Brand Bronzebeard, when I had mining, he would go and mine mineral nodes that, you know, I would walk past and stuff and throw me resources. That was cool. One thing that I looked up and I'm looking it up right now. So you like the idea about companions? 
I like the idea about companions as well, but if this is the best feature for the Delve, I don't know. Is uh, can we maybe customize Bran down the road, like how he looks, his transmog or something? I'm not seeing anything here, but maybe. And I do know that Blizzard said that we will be getting new companions down the road that we can level up and stuff. And, and the fact that like this companion is shared among all your characters. So like if you have Bran Bronzebeard at level seven, for example, and then like, you know, you're leveling an alt or something and you go into a delve, you're going to have a level seven brand bronze beard helping and you out. And she's going to stomp And him. that's really cool. I, I, I really believe that if Blizzard continues to... Thank you so much for the raid, Mr. Bubble Shidobi with 2,000 viewers. I hope you had a fantastic stream, sir. Let me guess, you were playing League of Legends, blasting music. Freak this game. I fucking regret not watching your stream, but next time, next time to expand the companion system in the Delves. Even perhaps, and maybe this is in the war with him, but I certainly haven't experienced it. Maybe in a way, somehow bringing your companion outside of the Delve occasionally, maybe into the open world to help you occasionally or something like that. Maybe there's like a, like a cooldown summon ability or whatever, I don't know. But just, you know, really being able to customize that companion, really make them, you know, your special companion, you know, in this expansion that helps you with a large variety. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Actually, I never liked the idea about transmog and stuff like that, but that would be cool. Like that makes your brand more special for you than all the other brands. I really like the idea of leveling your companion. Still, is this actually the best feature for from the Delves? It's, it's a little bit underwhelming. Variety of content, maybe even outside of the Delves, I think that might be where the strength of this system lies because as I was doing higher tiered difficulties of like the delves and stuff, um, I think the thing that I was enjoying the most was actually leveling up the companion, seeing what abilities he got next, stuff like that. Very similar, I admit, to kind of the feeling of leveling up in World of Warcraft and like wondering, ooh, what's my next ability going to be? Like, oh, where am I going to put my next talent point or something? You know, I think that Blizzard should just really expand the companion system to make it as customizable as possible. It's really cool that he's having different abilities and paths that he can go, I, I guess. Really cool. So I admit, like, I'm a little, like, in this middle zone when it comes to the Delves. Like, on one hand, I want to say that I don't think that Delves are going to be received as well as maybe as Blizzard is hoping. Um, but there's another side of me that says... You know, so long as Blizzard keeps expanding on this system and so long as we're getting more delves in the future, so long as Blizzard is giving us like patches with like, you know, uh, more updated delve mechanics and like just different ways yeah. to experience them. That way, you know, the replayability is there and it doesn't get boring so fast. I mean, so long as that is there and so long as that is the goal, then I think the delves will do very well. But like right now, I would say that um, they're just kind of in this weird, like, yeah, they're they're okay, middle zone. Like, they're they're not really mind blowing. Maybe like the first time or the second time, you're like, wow, this is really cool. But after that, you're just kind of like, okay, you know, like whatever. You know, you kind of you almost fall back into that Torghast mindset. I've seen the Delve, like I know what to expect. Okay, you know, I got this power up. Okay, you know, whatever. So I'm just a little bit worried, I admit, about this new system, and uh, I care about this new system because, admittingly the delves for me are what i'm most excited for in this expansion like i want the delves to win. really <laughs> you know i i want this to do good from the whole expansion he's both excited about delves i said uh, in the previous videos that i'm really excited about war within but if those is the most exciting thing about war within good um but of course uh, these are just based off of my experiences and Maybe some of you guys have done more delves than I have in the beta or the alpha or something. Maybe you guys have seen, you know, other streamers or people that like have been no lifing the alpha and the beta. Like they don't even care. They, they just want to like play as much as possible. Like even though they're going to lose everything. I'm not one of those people personally, but maybe you've seen more than I have. But just this is like my um, my first impressions after like a few hours of just doing delves like on the beta and on the alpha. I definitely have more to talk about when it comes to the War Within, so I'm going to be doing a War Within predictions video here Whoa. soon. 
Um, I'm going to be repeating a little bit of what I've talked about in this video in that one. But of course, I'm going to be talking about the whole of the expansion with that video, not just delves. So hopefully, despite any concerns that I'm guys, I, I got excited. He's going to do predictions video. How does a prediction video looks like? I got very intrigued. Maybe I should check that out. Nice video, though. Boom.